everybody. Jay Mannion here at the NPC Photo Gym. And here for the very first time is your reigning, defending, IFBB Pro, Pittsburgh Men's Physique Champion. Hey, Corey Morris, five-time Olympian here. Okay, well, he's not here for the Pittsburgh yet. That'll be later. We're here because he's on the road to Columbus literally this afternoon, right? <laughs> yeah, we got a few days, <laughs> a few days to the show. So, hey, it's, it's, it's fun being here, though. First time being here. So, it's, it's, this is what I need to do. Come in here, you know, take some of the atmosphere, take in things uh, right before the Arnold big show. So, I can't wait. And also, I, while I was waiting for him, I got a phone call from a, a former top IFAB pro bodybuilder that we didn't realize that was following Corey, and he just gave me a, a nice message to give to him, to give you some motivation, right? Oh, yeah. That's definitely motivation coming from him. Definitely motivation. Yeah. So we're not going to out who he is, but, but it's, it's, a, it's a very well-known pro. He was a very good pro, too. Yeah, very good pro. Someone I looked up to when I was younger, uh, all the magazines, had them plastered on the wall. So for them to say that, that's huge. Give me a lot of motivation going into this show. Yeah. So you just never know what's going to happen here. <laughs> yeah, you never, you never know because that was a surprise there. I was like, what, really? <laughs> so that's big time. Yeah, yeah, that's big time. Yeah, that's why he's got this nice smile on his face. Plus, he just ate. <laughs> yeah, plus I just ate. Yeah, this is this my Ford meal. You know, when you're traveling and, you know, airport and stuff, it's just you burning them extra calories. So, yeah. uh, you know, being able to get here and, uh, you know, work out, get some pictures in, you know, get this shoot in. I've been waiting, waiting to do this, too, for a long time. So I'm happy. And nothing like to do it right before the Arnold. Listen, I'm, I'm going to call it right now. You'll be here two more times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pittsburgh and for Road to the Olympia. Yep, yep. Hey, that's going to be fun. Pittsburgh, I can't wait for it. But, you know, first things first, we got Arnold in a few days. So we go backtrack it, make sure we fine tune and everything. But best believe I'm ready, though. Yeah. And then you can talk about Pittsburgh start Monday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know that's a fast turnaround, too. <laughs> that's a fast turnaround. But, hey, Pittsburgh, that's a pre very prestigious show. So, uh, you know, I'm happy to be a part of it. And I can't wait. I mean, you had a really good year last year. Yeah, I did, man. You know, when I sit back and think about uh, the shows, you know, the few shows I won, I ran, what, four shows, and I won four. So that was a pretty good year. So I'm, 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 I'm wanting to repeat. Well, no, you don't want to repeat the, the last one. You want to win that last one. Definitely want to win that last one. So repeat three. Yeah. Fix the fourth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Re repeat three. Go back for the fourth show, which is Olympia. But this time, number one. All right. I like that. Yeah. Yep. I like that, too. I like that, too. Yeah. It's, I'm not too far from it either. So you, you best believe I'm putting in the work. You know, that's part of the journey is doing this uh, Arnold show. And then, of course, the prestigious Pittsburgh. But I can't wait to Olympia. It's always fun times. Yeah. And listen, when he says he's doing the work, I told him last year while such warrior backstage, I said how I had heard what the judges had told you to do and you were doing it. Yeah. And you listened to them. Yeah. Ironically. <laughs> yeah. You, hey, you got to like, why not listen to the judges? They're trying to put you in the best position. So why not do that? Take the critique, uh, make the changes, come back better. They see it. Hey, it's just your, your day. You might be able to win the show. Yeah, I mean, and the proof is in what you did last year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm one of those guys that, you know, hard-nosed working guys. So if you tell me to do something, I'm going to find out how to get from A to Z or whatever that is and then apply the, the work. And that's just what happened. So to be here right now and, you know, getting ready for a big show, a couple of big shows, it's, it's something major in my career. So I'm definitely happy and uh, thankful. Yeah. Yeah, because the Pittsburgh is what? Nine, nine or ten weeks after Columbus, yeah. Yeah, so it's not much. I'm, I'm, you know, after Columbus, I probably take even, if you, if you even want to say that, a few days off, and then I'm right back, you know, get with my coach, right back for this Pittsburgh uh, prep, which is going to be fun. Okay, so something interesting that we've, we've been talking about off camera is you've also got to deal with two sons doing AAU basketball and traveling. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's major. That's what I'm, I'm trying to get uh, – you know, get everything adjusted now with scheduling. Uh, you know, they start off, um, matter of fact, when the UK uh, Arnold kick off. So 
I got a lot. So I'm trying to figure out getting to the UK and then I'm trying to get my sons across the United States for, uh, you know, AAU tournaments that's starting up. But I can't complain. That's the fun part of it. So I just got to find a way around it. But that's what grandparents are for. So, <laughs> so hopefully, you know, mom stepped through and helped me out while I'm getting ready for these big shows to do. And then after, you know, I'll be with them, support my sons. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're, I know we're always talking about what moms have to do, but dads are involved, too. Yeah, big time. Dad's definitely involved. You know, I'm a single dad, so taking care of my sons, that's a big responsibility uh, for me. So just being able to see them grow, make those steps, still being able to do what I do for us with my career, but also being able to catch them at the games and stuff, that's big time. So that's that's something I always appreciate. So you bring them to the show. So they enjoy coming to the contest. Yeah, big. Yeah, they actually last year uh, Olympia was the first time they they got to come to the Olympia. So I try to get them prepared. I was like, hey, it's gonna be a lot of people, a lot of people coming up to me, all that good stuff there. So when they came out, you know, they was looking around at all the lights and the stage and stuff. So that was a real good time for me, a real good bonding uh, moment. And uh, we go do it again. Of course, I'm gonna bring them back for this time. I need to see them. Uh, I want them to see me win. That's the main thing. That's the key. Yeah, they can jump yeah. up on stage with you. Right, right, right. You know, my son, well, my son's 6'3", so. He, I was going to say, the oldest yeah. one. <laughs> we were just talking, when he yeah. fills out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When he fills out, he going to be something nice. Yeah. So, we going to get him in the gym soon. Yeah, we going to get him in the gym soon. I told him, hey, let, let dad do these shows, and then I'm definitely going to have you in the gym hitting yeah. some weights. Yep. So what's it like? It's what's it like when you have to tell him that he did something wrong? It's like me looking up to you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you just got to remind him who dad is. Use that <laughs> that real stern voice and let him know. And, and you know, he get that reminder. Yeah, yeah, he get that reminder. That's <laughs> all. You know, it's it's kind of weird though because I'm so used to looking down at him. Now I'm up here like, hey, <laughs> go take the trash out. <laughs> so it's a little bit weird, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. it's all fun. But he know who's dad is, so that's all. I, that, that's all that matters. You know who dad is. Yeah. <laughs> And, that, and that's great that they're involved in sports, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big time. You got to have them uh, involved in sports. They see something I'm doing. Uh, I always play sports when I was small. I played collegiate ball and stuff, football, too. So to have my sons in sports and actually see them grow and flourish in the sport, that's something that's major to me. That's something, you you know, I, I feel like parents, you know, all parents want to see, see their uh, kids to see you in whatever they do. Yeah. So it was football what got you into lifting weights? Yeah, football did because – I say one spring uh, practice, I ran across the middle. I played wide receiver, and I got hit, and my whole helmet turned. I thought I was knocked out. <laughs> but the whole thing was the guy, he was strong, of course, because he was a senior. I was a sophomore. I got up, and that's when I made the decision that day. I was like, I need to get in the gym. So, of course, I walked off the field. They thought I quit. Right. But what I really did at that moment, I got up, walked off the field, went directly in the gym, and, you know, that was it. That was it from that point. I right. started lifting weights, uh, put on some size, came back the following spring. I was like 20 pounds bigger muscle. Yeah. So I didn't mind running across the middle, too. I was, you know, telling all challenges to come on. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how the weightlifting journey started. Yeah, that's great. All right. So once you started lifting weights, what made you decide to get into a competition? Well, I, I, I lift weights. I was lifting weights, getting in shape. Uh, you know, I had a, you know, want to say a moderate to good diet. Uh, so I was in LA Fitness and I'd be working out all the time. And this guy, he, he always look at me, always say, you know, speak. So one time he came up to me, he was like, man, I got this guy. He's a friend of mine. He's a coach. Uh, he's in the bodybuilding. He was like, man, you got a great shape. You should get into bodybuilding. He was like, men's physique. It's a great division. He was like, you're a shoe in. And I was like, uh, I don't know about that. Of course, I looked at Dexter Jackson, all these guys uh, before, Dennis the Menace, Flex Lewis and stuff. But I was like, I don't know about bodybuilding. So, of course, I got, gave the guy a call. Um, he told me to send some pictures over to him. He said, I sent some pictures. He was like, man, you could do a show in like three months. So, of course, I was like, uh, let's see. I thought about it, gave it a couple of days, hit him back. I was like, all right, I'm going to give it a shot. So he brought me into the gym, started teaching me how to pose, tweak my diet, of course, because that's what I needed. Added a cardio regimen in. Um, I went. In, I ended up going into the Southern Muscle. That was uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, and I took first place. I didn't win the overall, 
but I took first place. But it was enough to hook you in, right? Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. Once I got on stage <laughs> and I got that win, I was like, yeah, when's the next show, coach? <laughs> so set it up for the, uh, you know, I think I did, matter of fact, three national shows. The third show, third one is the charm. I did uh, Junior USA's and I took the overall. Yeah, where he did show up for the champion shoot. Yes. See, I remember that. How, how many years ago was that? That was. That was a minute ago. That's a minute ago. Yeah, you definitely, you want to you want to come to the champion shoot. That's where all the fun at. Get all the pictures. I mean, seriously, didn't we have a blast? Yeah, we, man, we had a blast. And who don't want pictures from this guy? The pictures came out outstanding. And then you're a winner. So come take pictures, enjoy it. That's a moment that you only get one time because you turn pro one time. After that, you're with the big dog. So have your fun. Take the pictures. Yeah, because I was thinking about whenever you won that, how far you've come. Yeah, it's been, man, a journey. You know, a lot of things I write down. Any goals, uh, beginning of the year, or even during the year, it might be something that, you know, I want to get. I write it down. So that was one of the goals. The goals was get my pro card. I actually wrote that down, winning Junior USA's the entire show, and I've done it. And also, I wrote down, once I turned pro, I was like, make it to Olympia. I didn't put a year, but I ended up making it in 2019 in my rookie season, which was great. Yeah. Too many, Not too many people get to do that at all. No, especially in their first year. Now. Yeah, so that was definitely exciting. So to be where I'm at now, number six in the world, that's, that's huge. That's definitely huge. That's big time. Yeah. So last year at the Wasatch Warrior, so Corey comes off stage, okay? <laughs> and at this point, I'm carrying the Pittsburgh Pro contracts with me everywhere yeah. I go, right? So I come back and I go, congrats, Corey. This is like whatever win of yours, right? And you're like, yeah. And I said, listen, you think about doing a Pittsburgh Pro, which is only two weeks later. Yeah. And he just looks at me like I'm nuts. And I go, <laughs> and I told him, I said, listen, I said, I've heard what the critiques from the judges. I said, you did the work. Mm -hmm. I go, it's time. It's time to do the yeah, Pittsburgh. I remember that. I remember that too. So you gave me the, like, I was the crazy look. Yeah. Cause <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? But then I thought about it. I was like, you might be right there. So of course I ran it by my coach. He was like, Hey, he said it. He was like, why not? I was like, all right, what you think? He was like, I'm sending you a prep. <laughs> that was it from there. Because you still had Charlotte to do. Yeah, I still had Charlotte to do. So he was like, hey, let's run into Charlotte. He was like, Pittsburgh, a, 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 a good show. That'll be a great show for you. Plus, I'd never done Pittsburgh. I'd never done a, a you know major show other than, um, what is that, Tampa. That was my rookie season. So he was like, man, it's, it's time. This is just the perfect time in your career. He was like, go do it. And hey, that was well, it. Well, it kind of worked because Tyler was head judging at Charlotte and he was going to see you the week after. Yeah. So all I had to do is make sure I was better. <laughs> make sure I <laughs> continue to get better because uh, Charlotte was the second show starting off my um, my run for, you know, last year's shows. So usually with me, I get better with show after show. So I had to make sure I was like, if I'm coming into this Pittsburgh show, I have to be lights out, especially with the reigning champion being in that show, Ryan Terry. Respect all do all respect to uh, Ryan, phenomenal guy, great guy. He so he's number one in the world. So when going up against him, that and game he had previously won the Pittsburgh. Game. Yeah, he previously won. So you know when I heard a few guys say that man Terry's coming in in the show, that gave me motivation. I like competition, so that definitely gave me more motivation to be better uh, and to make sure that everything is checked off and dotted because Terry's not gonna come in off at all. No. So had to make sure because. One of the best, he has some of the best, if not the best conditioning in men's physique. So I had to make sure we bought that conditioning. Yeah. And it worked out. Yeah. So what's funny is right after I hit him up, I turned around and I hit Amy Delgado up. Uh, kind of gave her the same yeah, type of speech. Yeah. Had her sign. And you both come and win. Mm -hmm. Both came and win. That's big time there because, man, that was, that was one of the greatest moments, uh, you know, just feeling that. Especially when they called me out. Uh, you know, the top two out the, you know, polls and stuff that was major that, you know, that just made me light up uh, because I was like, man, I'm here. I've, you know, arrived. You get onto a prestigious show like Pittsburgh and you top three, uh, top five or whatever like that. That's big time. And then win the show. Oh, man, I was, you know, I felt like a king that night. Yeah. <laughs> Good day. Speaking yeah. of king, what about that crown you got from uh, Charlotte? 
<laughs> I kept telling I kept telling, calling it a tiara. <laughs> That's exactly why I didn't want to wear the crown. I was like, it's the, he says a tiara. It did look like it. It's a crown. Look, immediately after the picture, I took it down. <laughs> immediately after the picture, I was like, let me take this off. Let me just put it right here. I gave it to Th Those of you that know me, you, you can't see me torture him about this, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was a nice trophy. That Hey, they gave a good trophy. The trophy was nice. Yes. The the crown, which do look like... Tierra. <laughs> yeah, it was it was nice. You notice I wore it for about, you know, five seconds and took it off immediately after the picture. <laughs> it, uh, that was it. I was like, all right, it's over. Take it off quick. Yeah. It's not like I sit in front of all the rest of the men's physique guys either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good thing because they wouldn't have had me live. They wouldn't have lived that down. They would have been getting on me too. They would have been doing the same thing. So good thing you didn't say that too yeah. loud. Yeah, they'd be waiting for stuff. See, like I that. tempered myself. You you did. You did. It's supposed to be you, me and you a good laugh. You, you did. I, gi I give you that. I give you that. <laughs> I give you that. Yeah. He didn't He didn't blast me. He didn't put me on blast. He said, but I did print the picture. <laughs> He did print the picture. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to put a caption to it. You didn't put no caption to it? No caption? See, see, that's why I like him. He's all right. He go get in you, but he go give you a little leeway. Just a little leeway. That's all. But it's all fun and games. We definitely had fun. Charlotte show was definitely a fun show. Uh, I'll be back, but not to compete, though. I'll be watching one of my classic uh, physique pro friends. He's doing the show this year. So it's going to be a fun one. So this time I get to sit and relax and watch everybody else do the work. Right. Yeah. Well, ironically, at the Charlotte show, I had I had called back here, talked to my daughter, asked her if Giselle Machado, who had just won the wellness, mm -hmm. had signed up for Pittsburgh, and she worked in the office, and she's like, no. Yeah. So I literally went back yeah. with the with the uh, contract, said, hey, you know, and it's that now at this point, it's a week later. Mm -hmm. Would you think about doing Pittsburgh? She's like, oh no, I'm not ready, yeah. right? And I'm like. You just you just won the show. You won the show. You ready? Yeah, yeah, you ready? You know you can always get better, but if you just won a pro show and and it's won the next week and you in shape, why not? Yeah. yeah. So she she looks at her coach and he goes, "He's the boss." And I go, "For right now, yes." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you, hey, if you saying hey, do the show. That's something you got to think about. You got to put, you know, you got to think about it. And that's the first thing. That's why I looked at you like that. I was like, wait, what are you saying? And then when I really thought about it, I was like, yeah, that might be, might be on to something there. And then I looked and seen, of course, it was the next week. So I, of course, got with my coach. He was like, come on, let's, let's go. He was like, let's book that flight. <laughs> well, the thing is, and I tell everybody this, I know, yes, it's my father's show, but it's the judging panel. It's the only contest that has judges from the Olympia and the Arnold, and yeah. that includes Sandy. Yeah. Okay, it's because Sandy's usually not at the New York Pro because she's at the Junior USA. Yeah. So this is where you can get your critiques. And we were talking earlier, it was because Derek Lensford, you know, did his guest posing here, not this year, but the year before, yeah. that got him to go into the Men's Open Olympia. Yeah, definitely. It's a, you know, it's, it's, it's rare you get the, be in front that that panel i mean that's just you might as well say that's the olympia panel it is. so why not get up there and be seen because the thing is you get to get critiqued and see what you have to work on or you end up winning the show you know you know right where you at so that's that's major because once you get on that stage and they give you the critique tell you what you have to do hey you just lock down get ready for the olympia yeah, I mean, I'll dare say that I talked to Ryan Terry after because I've known him a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, you know, I was talking to him at yeah. Pittsburgh after, you know, after I talked to you and stuff. And he said he talked to Tyler and Steve. They told him what he needed to do. And look, he turned it around and then he comes back and wins the Olympia. Yeah. He turned one thing about uh, Ryan. He's a <laughs> worker. He's a worker. He's been at this at least, what, maybe like 10 years. Uh, he's an OG. Yeah. He's <laughs> an OG. When I was sitting down doing cardio, you know, trying to get my motivation, wanting to be in a particular area in my career, I was looking at Ryan Terry. So, you know, this guy here, he's a outstanding guy and an even better pro. So, you know, what he did just to lock it down and make those moves and, and stuff, that's what you have to do. I tell people that he's a, he's, you know, Olympian and he's still taking that direction and listening. That's the key. You have to listen. You know, some. Because he didn't do another show except for New York. He looked yeah. better in New York, but yeah. even then he still wasn't. Ready yeah. for the Olympia. Yeah, he still wasn't ready for Olympia. So between that short span of a you know a few months of him, you know, being able to lock in is 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 key. That was the difference between him being first and winning that 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 Olympia show. Because if he wouldn't have took that knowledge, 
you, you know, you never know what he would have placed. Nine times out of ten, it wouldn't have been first. Well, as he told everybody, he's placed everything from second through tenth at that Olympia. Yeah, Ryan's been – he's an OG. He, he's used to the Olympia stage. So the only thing he hasn't done on the Olympia stage is win the Mr. Olympia. So if anybody had to win the Olympia, I definitely, uh, you know, was glad that Ryan won that Olympia. You know, that was a very – that's a very popular thing because and I was talking to a bunch of guys after you guys came off stage and I'm at, you know, I'm, I know how you guys feel. I mean, we had two athletes yeah. for kids and everything. I know that's not a good time. And everybody's like, Ryan Terry. Yeah. I'm good, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Man. Ryan Terry, like I say, stand up guy. He does everything right. He does everything right. You never see he's, he's always, you know, respectable. He talked to you, all that good stuff there. So uh, for him, to do what he's done and he and the thing about it he worked for it you you this is something he just didn't fall into you seen a guy work uh work for it he you know he went up and he just applied everything that he needed to do to get better and you seen it when he walked up on stage you can see it yeah yeah it was yeah i mean i think i think that might have been the most popular decision at the olympia this year yeah ryan was on he was hitting though when i came when you know you, you pretty much i don't pay attention to a lot of guys you know i try to be zoned and locked in on myself but when i seen ryan he gave me that little head bob i was like oh ryan ready today <laughs> 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 you ready today because he usually be more more chill or whatever but i seen it on his face i say oh he ready for war yeah <laughs> And listen, and like I said, it was probably the most popular Olympia decision out of every division. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I mean, it wasn't nothing to, to, to fuss about. You know, you got sometimes fans and people that, you know, might want to fuss about decisions because the judges have a tough, very tough job, but is 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 in their decision making and their expertise to pick who they want. So that's that's just how it went. And again, that was, you know, it was fair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody, I mean, I'm I being backstage where I am, I've never seen more of the other people that were on stage with the winner come up and be congratulating, put their arms around them, you know, talking to them, because yeah. everybody kind of just goes off and does their own thing, which yeah. is fine. Yeah, which know? is fine. Yeah, but a lot of us, you know, we've been doing this for some years. So when you look at a guy like uh, Ryan Terry, uh, that's so respectable and stuff, you know, the work ethic and the drive that it, that that goes into this. Because we all we all are pushing to be there, whether we didn't won uh, Olympia or whether we we haven't. We all have you know these big careers that we're trying to you know maintain and stuff. For so for Ryan to do it for so long and to be where he's at, that's big by itself. Because you know sometimes you know you might be high for one moment and then you know it falls because this this is competition, it's competitive. Look, if there was anybody that's decided at some point they were just going to say, "I'm done." Everybody would have understood if he, if he didn't do it. Oh yeah, he would have been. It would have been good, and he still would have been accomplished and and still who he is or whatever. But you know, as as athletes, you know, we all want that big title. <laughs> That's that Olympia title. So if you can step on an Olympia stage, which is you know hard by itself, if you could do that multiple times, you know. It gives you, 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 you're trying to push. Same thing with me. I've been on five times now. So it's like, I see the trophy. All I got to do is work a little bit harder and it's going to happen. Definitely going to happen. Just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. That's it. Keep moving forward. I was eight place in 20, uh, eight place. I turned eight. I took eighth in 2022 Olympia. So now I'm sixth place, uh, 2023 Olympia. So all we doing, keep moving forward. Okay. So I'm going to throw this little bit at you. So, going back to Amy Delgado and Giselle Machado, when I, when I asked them to do Pittsburgh last year, their first Olympias, they took sixth, and then they both came to Pittsburgh and won it. Ooh, that sounds good. So, you're saying I'm next? <laughs> You've already won the Pittsburgh, but yeah, we're going to yeah. look higher. Yeah, we're going to look higher. We're yeah. going we to look higher. Say, just like this Arnold is that, or this Arnold, you know, I've never done the Arnold. I've never even been to the Arnold. So this is something that's, uh, you know, really exciting for me. I like, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. It's, you know, I usually, I'm usually the person that don't get too excited. I got to be in a moment the, the, for the excitement to come, but I'm at home already, like doing extra cardio and stuff like, man, I can't wait <laughs> for the Arnold because I know it's going to be a good, uh, good show, real good show. And most importantly, I'm ready. That's yeah. the And we're how many days out? Mm, eight, eight days out. Yeah. Time is ticking. Literally. Yeah. All right. So does anybody want to give a shout out to over here? 
Oh, of course, my sons. My sons, uh, you know, Cameron and uh, Corey uh, Jr., I hope y'all doing good, doing your work <laughs> in school or whatever. I'll see y'all later. And, of course, my, my coach, uh, Ariel, Team Cuts. All right. If you want to see Corey, get yourself to Columbus. If you can't make it, they have a free live stream. Oh, yeah, sure do. Free live stream. So, hey, make sure you get on that live stream. You can see everything there. But if you're going to be in Columbus, I'll see you guys there. Yeah, come up to them at the Meet the Athletes meeting. Oh, yeah, definitely. Meet the Athletes meeting. I'll be up there talking to whoever. Come talk to me, man. I'll see you guys. All right. So, J.M. Mannion. And Corey Morris. Signing out for NPCNewsOnline.com.